Welcome, The Rock. My man, good to see you. You got the black, you got the guns, you got the Black Adam shirt. Dude, you got the shorts, you got it all. You're, are you in the Iron Paradise? You got the shoes, you got the Terramana, you got the Black Adam Funko. Can I, can I show you more? Can I just quickly show you more? This is my I am paradise, man. This is my gym right here. You've inspired me. I've even got that up here on my wall. Wow, man. I love that. Hey, uh, when this interview is done, I'm gonna make sure that my team gets your information. I'm gonna send you a whole bunch of really cool shit that you could put in your gym, man. I love you. I love you, Dwayne. I love you, bro. Thank you, bro. Um, <laughs> I love you back. Thank you, man. I watched this. I watched this in a theater on my own yesterday. And when you can enjoy a movie on your own, you know it's good. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Look, you know we put a lot of hard work into this. I, I like the hard work you put in your Iron Paradise, man. I was putting in hard work for a few years for this particular role, fighting to get the movie made for 15 years. So it's a real privilege for me to talk to you about Black Adam right now. Man, I saw the photo that you recently posted and it's funny because Hiram Garcia says, wow, insane. This journey started off when we both had hair. <laughs> That's right. What does that tell you, man? A long, long time ago. It's just crazy, crazy. But uh, that goes to show though, that I think the movie Black Adam is, is a reflection of it's a reflection of tenacity and not taking no for an answer. And even when there's a lot of people telling you, no, let's make something else. Check out the DC Bible. There's other superheroes who you can be. And you say, no, I'm sticking with my guns. We're making Black Adam. And let's introduce the JSA. Let's introduce fresh characters and new blood into the DC universe. I love the Justice League. And Superman has always been my favorite. And I love Wonder Woman. I love Aquaman. I love those actors. They're my friends. Man, let's look past the Justice League and look into the DC Bible, and there are some amazing, fun, cool, complex characters that audiences would love, fans would love. What I loved about Black Adam as well is like you look at what he's got. He, do, he has the strength of Superman. He does everything that he does, but at the same time, you said it as well, he will hurt someone. Black Adam will hurt someone if he, if he needs to. He will, he will destroy them. Black Adam will rip them in half, literally rip them in half. And that's, that's one of the elements, man, that I love about Black Adam. I love the edge. I love the ruthlessness. I love the brutality. But I also love... Look, dude, we shared our love for each other at the top of this. You said, I love you, man. I said, hey, man, I love you back. Black Adam, as dark as he is, intense, ruthless, at his core, he will kill for his family and the ones he loves and for his country and his people. So he, he still, in this Black Adam way, his anchor, he does what he does out of love. I love it, relatable. Uh, Kevin Hart, getting inside the DC Extended Universe, you've mentioned it, will it happen? I think there's a place, we've been joking about Kevin, but I think there's a place for Kevin. Hiram and I have talked about, you know, there's a character we have in mind for Kevin. We've run it by him. Kevin, of course, loves it. Uh, and if he doesn't want to play that character, I like to say there's also, we can make up one called dog <laughs> He can play that one. <laughs> I love it. Um, is it. Is it true as well that they took out the padding? I know you've answered this, but you were, you were, you were that, I, I saw what you were putting in. I follow you, we all follow you, man. I saw what you put in that hard work that you were putting in. They took the pads out. They, who, who was, can I say, no disrespect, dumb enough to put the pads in the first place? Well, the, the guys, they're, they're really great costume makers. Uh, they're the best in the business. And these costumes at DC and Marvel, uh, they all have muscle padding. And it's not a knock, it's just what we need our superheroes to look like. Um, I put the costume on the first time with muscle padding. Um, I looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, I looked like I was in a comedy skit. So we removed the padding. And I got to work. I thought, you know, I got one shot with Black Adam and I really wanted to get in the best shape of my career. And I, you know, and I've trained for a lot of things in the past, but like this training was different. It was so technical and scientific and, and just in detail. You know what it's like to train, man, and to try and peak for something. And I had to peak and then hold it, maintain it for six months, which was, I'm sorry, for four months, 
which was pretty tough too. But at the end of the day, I, I saw the movie like you did. I saw it on a big screen and I was really happy. And there's also the trans, there's, there's a transformation moment in Black Adam, which you saw where you go from boy, from a boy to a man and you turn into the champion. And it, then it's just my body. And for that particular scene, I thought I'm gonna treat this as if like I'm stepping on stage uh, or an event for one night. <laughs> so that diet, man, and that training was so fine-tuned. It was, it was crazy, but I'm very happy. I love I it. It. Thank you so much. They're wrapping us up. Please come to Dubai, man. We will build you your gym. Come to Dubai. Oh, man, I would love to. You know, I started my career in Dubai. I actually, I was there before, man. So I look forward to coming back for sure. Absolutely. And I'm going to send you a whole bunch of stuff. Get those dumbbells. I'm just getting to sit in. <laughs> I love you, bro. Black Adam. I'm going to send you some yeah, stuff. Go see it. The Chris Fade Show on Virgin Radio.